If you're a developer and you're starting your own token, you might face this problem airdropping people their token because it's very difficult to have a hundred whitelist and bulk send all the tokens together. But today I'm going to show you a simple solution how to do so and this will make life of a project founder so much easier. Today's video is how to distribute airdrop tokens in bulk. What's up you guys, Darby here back again for more crypto news and today we are going to talk about a bit more on the technical side. You're thinking of airdropping a lot of tokens to a lot of people that join your whitelist, then stay tuned to the end of the video because I'm going to show you a quick and simple version on how to do so. That's airdropme.io and airdrop spelled normally, me spelled normally and .io, the most effective tool for airdropping your tokens and not in a small amount. This is going to be in a bulk huge amount and you also get DAO rewards powered by Etherspot. This is how the website looks like. So all you have to do is click get started. I will show you in a bit, but let me just explain a bit more about the functionalities and what they are trying to achieve. So today, several token distribution options exist but all of them require an extra budget and can be up to 50% of the reward pool or even more. Trust me, I've tried it before, especially if you're doing tokens on ETH, the gas fee and everything else combined is going to be a hefty sum. So you want to try to minimize your costs and maximize your returns by using this platform. With Airdrop Me, everything has changed. Distribute reward tokens in a simple and cheap way. So these are the three main features that you as a developer or me as a developer would worry about because gas fee is a huge problem when it comes to ETH coins. Obviously BSC tokens, Matic tokens are not too big of a deal because their gas fee is super duper low. Number one, you save on gas fees which will be 90% of a regular distribution fees by using built-in transaction batching and also onboard claiming capabilities. You also got gas fee transactions where your recipients can send the tokens to other wallet addresses from the airdrop me wallet and is gas free just via the dApp which is the decentralized exchange right here. And last but not least, it's a handy dApp. It saves a massive amount of times. It's not confusing. There's no tech skills required. You don't need to develop anything. All you have to do is do on-chain withdrawals, which is very, very simple. And these are the supported chains that they have right now. Like I mentioned earlier, Ethereum is on it. So that's a very big point because Ethereum is the most expensive gas fees out there. You got Polygon, you got BNB, Aurora, Phantom, Avalanche, Optimism, even Arbitrum. So this is the tutorial right here, but I'm going to show you real quick on how to do so. If let's say my video is not clear enough, you can watch this video video on the website itself. So this is the DAP, the decentralized application. I'm going to show you how to do it. First things first, I locked into my MetaMask already. So I'm going to connect my wallet, MetaMask, connect, and there you go, it's connected. I'm going to click new wallet right there. And now my wallet address is here. So I'm just going to click copy private key. I've already saved it. Proceed to step two, create access hub. That's going to be a pop-up for MetaMask right here. I'm not going to show you the pop-up, but it is pop-up on my screen right now. So I'm just going to click confirm. You got to just pay a slightly bit of Matic because I'm using Matic on this moment. Verify your RPC provider. If that's it, can't go through, just click edit suggested gas fees. There'll be like a low, medium, high. All you have to do is click high. Then right here, you got to wait for a bit because it might take a while, maybe at least a minute, two minutes. And there you go. You can see right here, copy hub P2P address. Just click copy right here. And then you can see select token balance, import token. If you want to import your token, just click import token right here and paste the address here. Add. Normally you will want to put your own token, the one that you're making. I'm going to import token right here and just click continue and just click add. But anyway, if your token's brand new, you won't have the error sign right here. And this is because I don't have any other token addresses to put in. So that's why it says unable to fetch token data. Please verify if it's an ERC20 token. Anyway, I'm just going to skip this part right here. So all you have to do is select your CSV and your CSV can have up to 500 addresses on it. So all you have to do is go onto Google Excel sheet, fill in all the addresses there, all the addresses that you want to airdrop the token to, put in all 500 of them, if there's 500 of them. But if that's not, just put in whatever there is and then save it as a CSV. CSV file. And then once you click select CSV, just top up and send and then you're good to go. Voila, this is how you do it. Was that even a bit complicated? No, that was one of the easiest and most straightforward platform that I've used for airdropping tokens so far. You even have flexibility to choose if you prefer to pay with the tool commission or if your users should split this fee into many small manageable amounts when claiming it. You can see right here, if you want to split with them, you have to click paid by recipient and make sure the ticket. Therefore, the recipient will then have to pay the commission in order to proceed and then just allow airdrop me to have a few seconds to confirm the new hub balance and all you have to do now is click submit airdrop and congratulations you're one of the first few to be using this cost effective and efficient multi-chain airdrop so if you're interested in this do follow them on twitter and turn on the notification bell they will have a lot of new news coming up very soon this is truly a utility platform especially if you're a founder of any tokens at all this is the one for you or if you're a beginner who wants to start making tokens who wants to start marketing because marketing requires a lot of airdropping this is definitely the one for you 
this is the easiest way to do so. With all that said, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you want more of my tutorials, do comment down below, subscribe down below, turn on the notification bell, and let me know what else you want from this channel. And I'll try to do a step-by-step -step one, the easiest ways possible, and obviously the most cost-effective way. See you guys in the next video. Peace out.